Hey everybody, how's it going? It is I, friend Margaret, here to unbox this bag. Only I'm super close. I'm gonna like push this back up. I'm trying something new, you guys. I'm trying live on my phone. Hang on, let me scoot the camera a little bit up. I was just recording about that. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, apparently, trouble. I'm gonna try this again, hang on. I need to move this up. It's gonna bounce for a second, hang in there. There we go, there we go, tighten that up. So I'm here, you can't see me, but I'm here. Look, look. Okay, and I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put the chat over on my computer so I can see. And I guess if I wanted to, I could like flip it around so you could see my face up close. Like, hey, I am here, ha <laughs> ha. So. <laughs> Let me pull this open so that I can see the chat. There we go. Okay. Hi, everybody. How's it going? <laughs> I'm going to dump this out. I have a tray here. I'm going to try this and see how it goes. I've never done this like this before, so I'm, I'm lying. I'm moving my cam my computer over so I can see the chat because I had it side beside me and I can't see it. So now I can see it better. There we go. Pop out that chat. Pop it, chat. There we go. Okay, cool, cool. Let's do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump this out. Oh, I forgot my magnet again. Look at me go. Okay, let me grab it. It's right here. Not far. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Don't freak out, everybody. I got it. Ha-ha. I got the magnet and the loop. Okay, so if you guys were watching earlier with this ring that I bought at the Savers with this, it did end up being 14K. Um, I recorded it. Um, and I talked through like why I chose it and why I thought it was really gold. Um, so I'm going to edit that up and put it up, but it did end up being 14 K and it's like 3.3 grams. So the scrap weight on it's only about 80 bucks or so, but I'm going to list it for more than that. So probably list it. I'll probably list it for about 300. Um, even though the scrap value is much less because why not? Right. Okay. So let's dive into this. What do you think is the best way to do this? Like dump it all out at one time or just like partially dump it? Or like, what do you think? There's like a stick. Do you see the stick? Okay, let me move this. I'm still having issues trying to set this up. I'm trying, hang on. I wanna get the chat where I can see it. Okay, let's do this. So this bag was $14.99 and it was 20% off. All my stuff was 20% off today. And I think it's going to be a bunch of junk. Oh, look, there's lots of fur. Isn't that fun? That's disgusting. It's gross. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. I guess we're just going to dump it. Why don't we just dump it? How about that? And then we can just like, or I'll dump part of it and we go from there. How about that? Oh, that hair is grossing me out. I need something to help me get out of there. Ew. So, so gross. Okay. Okay, I got rid of that. All right, so starting off, we're going to definitely have quite a bit of like um, craft lot stuff here. So that's broken. That's going to go to a craft lot. I need a bag. Oh, gosh. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I am perpetually unprepared, apparently. <laughs> I have to grab all the stuff. But look, I got a bag. I'm going to throw it in a bag. Craft lot bag. How are you guys doing today? We've had a pretty good day. All right, there we go. We've run around, run errands. So here we've got a, it looks like a ceramic bead that something has taken up residence in. Can you see that? It looks like something has started nesting in there. So we're just gonna like put that right in the craft lot and we'll send that somewhere else. It could be an alien for all I know. Okay. <laughs> now what I am gonna do though is if I have these like glass beads i'll set these aside for my sister because she makes um chime not yeah chimes wind chimes and um like sun catchers so i'm going to set the glass beads aside for her all right next there's just like random but i do have a magnet just in case because i have found gold look that's not magnetic that is so there's that i know gross right it's lucky dust is that what we call it now i like it lucky dust <laughs> so this this is pretty neat. How's that looking, y'all? So this looks super familiar. I feel like we've seen something like this recently. Was this, like there's the back is missing off of it, but I'm wondering if this was something that you would put like hair in or a picture. 
Tell me what you think. The bag, it was $14.99, and I got it at Savers today, and it looks like junk. Look at this. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Can you see this? So the, the clasp is like really secure. So that's the first step of the clasp. And then there's a second step of the clasp. So it's double, double secure. So I'm going to do a little digging on that because I don't see that all the time. With a double clasp, what do you guys think? Maybe for a watch? Yeah, it could have been a watch face too. You're right, you're right. Um, here, let me close this up. Try to anyway. So doubled up and not magnetic it feels really lightweight so i'm gonna i'm gonna set it to the side to do a little more digging i'm taking my watch off <laughs> my some of my friends are texting and i'm like i don't want you to see some of those texts coming through <laughs> okay then a picture of four leaf clover oh yeah yeah maybe the hair from the bag came from that right gross okay so then there's this little doodad let's see what is that um so not gold, it, you can see, like it's like broken off from something there. But there's that random thing. Okay, scrap bag. So you guys doing okay today? I can't see how many people are there. How many people are there? Oh, go over there and hit that thumbs up. Yay. Okay, so I feel like I just need to chill. I'm, I, I wanted to test that um, ring and then, I don't know. I just need to chill out for a second. Okay, next. Here we go. <laughs> um, so here's this earring, and it is magnetic. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in the scrap bag. Why not? Uh, same thing with this little doodad. It looks like a piece of an earring that maybe like the post is gone. Hello, Kathy Valentine. Hello, everybody. Sorry I didn't get to say hey in the chat to everybody. I see you. I hear you. I feel your presence, if that's not too weird. Okay, <laughs> then um, there's this. This looks like, you know, like a little Indian ring. It looks like there's some marks over on the side over here. Can you see that? Even though it's been cut, um like that kind of Thai silver or, and that's a cute little thing down there. Okay, where is, let me look at my Loopy Loo. Loopy Loo to the rescue. It says RR, I don't know what RR stands for. So I'm gonna have to do a little more, oh wait, there's something else in there. I'm looking closer again. It says RR over there too. Double RR, anybody? Bueller? No? Nobody? Alright, I'm going to set it to the side and figure out what RR stands for. Because, um, oh, do you? <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Is it the same same kind of stuff as last time, Chris? <laughs> Alright, here we've got a crystal, um, oh, did I miss something? Let's see. You guys, you know how I like to play with the trolls. Okay, for real. I'm looking to see if I got one. Because... I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, um, so here we go. That's, this is going to go in my uh, sister's thing because she'll make sun catchers out of that. Where'd my sister's bag go? So, oh, oh, you were saying what the RR stood for. Could be, could be. All right, then this piece, at first when I saw it, I thought it was like one of those, it goes like on the collar, but it's not. Look, it is something else. Let's take a peek. Hey, Cindy, how's it going? Um, lots of watches and cufflinks, but I'm waiting for the bin to fill up to the top. Oh, cool. Yes. Yeah, let me know, Chris. I'm down. So this looks, again, looks like that, you know, I don't know. That's very unusual. What do you guys think of that? I mean, it looks like it was a piece of jewelry or maybe like the chains came in or it came in through this way and then it had like dangly things down here. I'm going to set it to the side. And see if, if it's something maybe my sister wants. It looks like something could be living in there too. So, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. Well, I, I tested it. I talked about it a second ago, but I didn't post it. Um, not yet. I'm going to post it probably tomorrow because I did a little video testing it and everything. But it is 14K. So, yeah. Let's see. 
jewelry component reduces the oh yes yes okay so then this is really nice there are people that really like um, shells and stuff and so it's got this gold trimmed shell pendant so I'll set that to the side I have a very small <laughs> pile for me over here so far which is fine yeah <laughs> thank you Chris yes give it more likes or else so here we've got a nasty gross something some sort of fitness tracker but it looks like maybe they were doing a mud race or something. I don't know if that's a good brand, but look how nasty that is. I'd really have to clean that up and figure out if it's worth fixing or working. I don't know. Okay, for now it's going in the scrap bag because it grows. Okay, I know this is going to be, a, I mean, it definitely looked like a lot of broken stuff in here, but I thought there was enough interesting stuff um, that that I was willing to, to take a look. Like These look like Peridot chips. Let's see if it's not broken. This looks like a Peridot chip necklace, which I'm, I'm gathering it is. So I'm gonna set that to the side, cause pretty. So that goes in my pile. My sweet little pile has four things in it. Good job. <laughs> okay, dump it, dump it. <laughs> you think dump the whole thing and just like go for it? I guess I could, you want? Let's do it. Thelma is a bad influence on me to just dump the whole thing. <laughs> Oh, there it is. <laughs> See how I uh, respond to peer pressure? Apparently, um, <laughs> I'm very susceptible to peer pressure. So, okay, here we go. Now, it's just like, oh. Um, okay, next um, <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. Okay, <laughs> isn't that it? I think I got it. I, did, I think I shake it all out. <laughs> Okay, so this is a cute little wrist bracelet. You know, it's got these. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. So that's nice. Can you guys see that? Um, oh, you like the repousse thing? Yes, that was one of the things I saw. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to set this to the side for, for my pile for now. We'll see. Um, we've got some watch bands. Oh, there's another one. My son might want those. He, he's really into watches. I'm just going to leave that there for y'all to look at while I do that. Um, has my No, I don't think she's ever done anything with shells. Okay, I'm putting these over here in this bag. Even though I know my son's going to probably come dig it out. So here's another watch that's... I mean, it's cracked and everything on the top. Polo Association. Okay, so let's take a peek at this. This looks pretty cool. Looks Oh, it looks like an old like uh, shoe clip or dress clip. It's got the prongs. So let's review, if I can, with my brain. The prongs means it's a shoe clip, I think, if it's got prongs like that. Y'all tell me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to set that to the side. It is missing a stone, but there are a lot of loose things down here, so... And if there's a mate, that might be cool too. Oh look, we've got another ceramic one. Let's see if anything's living in there. No, no, nothing in there. <laughs> so, um, since there's nothing living in this one, I don't know, it's not, should I give this to my sister? I'm gonna put it in my sister's bag, even though it's not like see-through. I didn't give her the other one. Oh wait, what's that? Well, this is fun. So here we've got a cork with a crown on the top. It looks like somebody was like, they couldn't get into the wine bottle. And so they were like trying to gnaw it off. Cause it's like, it won't come off. Bite it, bite it, Harvey. Just bite it off. Okay. Oh, this comes off too. Hang on. Is there a secret compartment? What do you make of that guys? Look, it's totally a cork here. And then there is like, is it for like olive oil or something? Or something that would pour it? No, I don't know. I'm gonna set that to the side because that's interesting. You think for like perfumes? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Hang on, I'm looking in the chat now. Oh yeah, shoe clip but easy fix with just this, yeah, totally. All right. What do you guys do with watches? Um. Well, I haven't sold a whole lot of watches yet. I'm putting that to the side for my question mark pile. This is super cool. I'm bummed out at all the stones it's missing because it looks like a sea star. And it's very asymmetrical. Come on, chains. Get off of there. Come on. Get. You are really, really in there. There. 
Okay, let's take a peek at this. It's broken. Now you're broken for real. Okay, it used to have a brooch. Can y'all see that? It used to be a part of a brooch and a pendant. And once upon a time, it was super cool. So that's going to go in the craft lot. Um, so that'll, that's got some cool pieces in there for sure. And then this is a Fitbit band. Again, point that over there. Um, what? You think on Fiverr you can hire somebody to $5 to untangle your jewelry? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Cherry pick out all the good stuff, too, I bet. All right, then we've got this cross earring. Uh, pretty flat gold. I'm going to get my magnet just because we've already found gold. Wait, put that over here. And this, too. So it is magnetic, but it's kind of sweet. You know, I'm going to leave it to the side in case we find the mate, which I doubt. Okay, I did see this um, whenever I was poking at the bag. I was like, ooh, um, this is ivory. So, hello, hello, everybody. A gin bottle cork. Is that what it is? Cool, George. Thanks. Okay, can you guys see that? I, I don't know if my light's too bright, but you can see the Schreger lines here, like the kind of parallel -y lines. And then when you turn it the other way, you can see the crisscross, like crosshatchy pattern. Um, so this, you know, I can't sell it. Where's my box? I was going to show you. So here's the box I was telling you about my aunt gave me that I've been putting the ivory stuff in. So I'm just going to throw it in there. I'm going to need a bigger box. So that's going in my ivory box like there. And <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I like to have, I mean, I don't know. I've, I'll just keep the, the ivory and just keep it there. Um, I'm looking in the chat real fast. Do do do. Um, we found some okay stuff. It's still for fun. All right, this is really pretty. I don't know if you can see the carving on it. It's a piece of shell. You know, mother of not mother of pearl. Well, maybe some shell. And then there's like a nice little bird carved on it. It used to be a brooch, but it is not anymore. Oh, you have a few pounds of it. Oh my gosh! Wow. What are you going to do with it, Chris? Are you going to donate it to like a something? I don't know. I've got, yeah. Okay, let's let's look at this one. This one looks not broken. Okay, so we've got a really cool repoussé, like these cherubs. Um, and it's almost like a bib style necklace. This is really cool. Um, yeah. That's, yeah, you can't sell it. So what are you going to do? <clears throat> so there's that and then it's got these really nice little things here I mean even look along the edges isn't that pretty so this side looks complete let's check the other side out so we've got this and then it's kind of broken at the points you see where that is so I'm gonna white and see yeah yeah very Art Nouveau right isn't that pretty so that's the back on it. I'm going to see if the other part of the chain is in there. Because that's something I would definitely try to repair if I'm able to. If not, I don't know. It's super pretty. Alright. Um, yeah, I have, I have a few piles going. Alright, we've got a an earring here. It is a screw back clip on. I don't see any kind of maker's mark. So I'll just set it to the side for now. Um, yeah, yeah. On the I do have a video on it, on the um, ivory. The laws are, yeah. You have to have certain documentation, and then in certain places, you know, you can. Certain tribes, Inuit tribes, or and I think in Canada the laws are different too. This is very unusual. So we've got. What is this? Or was this? We've got a white dolphin jumping over a flower. And then a big pink flower. And then a... It almost looks like a brooch piece. What do you make of this, guys? Do y'all think that was part of a necklace or something? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like the start of a bracelet. Yeah. It's pretty interesting the way somebody put that together. Okay, 
Well, I'm going to set that to the side, probably in that craft bag, because I don't know what I'm going to do with it other than that. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, totally. Oh, Kaylee, I don't even know about the watches when I'll get around to that. My son is still wanting to learn more about watches, so we'll see. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Um, you know what? They do. There's always somebody that does. Um, let's take a peek. It's not magnetic, and I'm going to look because I see some like little scratchy marks. I don't know. It doesn't even really look like gold, though. But I always like to check if I see something suspicious. Hmm. Do, do, do. Hang on. Yeah. Uh, I don't see. Well, hang on. So, I don't know. I'm just going to set that to the side and see if we find the mate for this one. It's interesting. You see a huge cross. I'm looking. Where is it? Oh, here. Yes, I found it. It almost looks like pewter. Um, so that'll probably go into the craft bag there. Buy my son a watch repair kit. Oh, yeah. He's definitely into... He's got a stash of watches. Um, but he almost, he's ready for me to buy him out. Because he keeps wanting to list stuff. And then we never get around to it. So he wants me to buy him out of all of his stuff. So that's a cute little stretchy bracelet. I like that. This, um, I can't think of the word, this big bead here. And it's got nice little stone chips and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Um, but I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to probably put this in the craft lot. It, I like that bead though. That's really nice. Um, Really? Okay, I'm gonna pull that back out. You think that'll do well? It's broken though. Do you think that'll matter? Like there's a piece of wood broken from up there. Maybe somebody will like it. I'll set it to the side. We'll see. I'll set it to the side. Okay, next we've got this. <laughs> Boing. Get out of there, you. Okay, it's got fabric y ribbon stuff, which bleh, um, looks dirty, and there's some frayed bits down here. So, uh, I don't know. What would you do with that one? Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, we went and there was a watch that he wanted to sell. We ended up going and getting a battery for it. And then it didn't work. And he was so bummed because he thought that the watch was going to sell for a whole lot of money. And so he's like, do you think I can still sell it for a lot? I'm like, no, nobody's going to buy that for... <clears throat> Okay, we've got a um, gold tone chain here. I feel bad, but I'd rather tell them straight up. Like, nobody's going to buy a broken... I mean, so you could try selling it for parts, but it's not going to go for the full amount, you know. Yeah. Um, okay, so then we've got this, which I think is an anklet, probably. Yeah, it's too kind of big for a bracelet. Yeah, that's what I told him. I was like, that's the thing. You just don't know. It could have been dropped in the toilet. You know, who knows? So that's a cute little anklet. I might try to sell that. I don't think it would go for too, too much. But I'll take a I'll take a look and see what I can find for that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I told. I, I, I was saying, you know, we could stick it in a lot or we could try to sell it for parts. But, meh. All right, then we've got this bangle. It's you know, broken there. Um, when he grows up, well, he just likes to, he wants to make money. He's really wanting, you know, he wants his independence. He wants to have his own money, which I get. I never was like, I mean, I spent all my money on candy when I was his age, but he saves and saves and saves for what he wants. Ah, it's really stuck in there. Dang it. I'm trying to see if I can get this out. Can she do it? I don't know. Ha, I did it. Okay. Um, all right, so here we go. There's the mate for this earring. So that's cool. We got mates. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'll oh look, you guys ah, uh, one of them, it's look at the backs. One of them has the screw back clip on, and one of them has a regular clip on. What? So I guess somebody had to do some repair work. 
on those. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, I'll probably cross post when I post them. If it's vintage, it'll go on, on Etsy. Oh, that's a cool piece right there. I like that. Even though, yeah, I don't know what I would do with it, but I like it. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, next. Let's see. What do y'all see? I'm looking in the chat and trying to look here. So here we've got some Houdini links. Only they don't really come apart. So just some heavy, they're really heavy, bracelets. Yeah, for sure. Maybe there's more in there. Okay, so there's those. Those will go. Those are really heavy. Those will go in there. We've got some brass knuckles, just in case. Oh, oh, like that. Um, but yeah, you can see where it's rubbed off and it's just kind of a mess. It's kind of a mess. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Harry Houdini. Um, okay, some cool barrels. Get in there. Oh, this is cool. Let's see what this is. This piece looks like a, I don't know, from the front I thought it was like a vintage piece of something that had been repurposed, but then when I flip it over it doesn't look that old. So let's see. Oh, you know how I love fabric and strings. Gross. Um, come here, string. What do you got going on? Let's see. Oh, they're coming off the... It looks maybe it was maybe somebody just repurposed it because it's kind of tied on there and this piece is kind of neat I like that this part it looks like a buckle or something you know so these will go into the craft lot I think yeah okay so what'd you guys do today did you guys do anything fun how's the weather how's your weather ours is cold today Ooh, hey this looks like, ooh, what do you guys think? Let me hold it up to the light. Come here, get off of that. I need you, lights. I need some hot water is what I need. This looks like tortoise shell. Can y'all see that? Um, tangled chains. Um, let's see. I, I need some hot water to dip this in. I don't think, I don't know if you can see that because of the light. I can see the swirls in it. And then I can see kind of like, um, almost like hairlines. If that, can you see those lines in there? I don't know if you can see that. I keep wanting to grab my phone to like shine the light for you guys, but I, I can't because my phone is what's recording. So I'm going to have to go dip this in water because... Along these edges along here, can you see? There's like little tiny, teeny, tiny hairlines. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Anyway, I'm going to set that to the side. Because when I hold it up to the light, it's it looks like tortoise shell. But you can't see it because the light's up here. So, uh-oh, what happened? Oh, no! Stuck in a hotel. So... If it's tortoise shell, it'll smell like um, like burnt hair if you dip it in hot water. So here's this. I'm going to give this to my sister for her... Um, my brains. Sun catchers that she's making. So she can use those for a sun catcher. Oh, you started the... Con con we, we did that with my son's... One of my son's room. We need to do the other one. Um, because we just... It's a mess. So there's that. That's going in there. It is a mess. We'll pro and that's the thing. Like with the rest of my house, I don't. I want. I want it to be clean and organized and stuff like that. But when it comes to my workroom, forget it. Or the homeschool stuff. Oh my gosh, forget it. So, let's see. Looking over there. Okay. So here we've got a clip-on earring, and there is a mark in there. Let me see what I can make of it. It says Japan. So we'll see if we find the mate for that clip on. Cute. She's planning on it someday. She keeps talking about it, but she never has yet. Sold her sun catchers. Oh, this is a nice little vintage bracelet. Um, so it's got this sweet little heart on the front. I don't think it opens. No, nope. it's missing a stone on the back, but that would be a fairly easy fix. Um, 
And it's, you know, I mean, it's not like fancy metal or anything like that, but it's definitely vintage. That's pretty cool. Hmm, I can't decide if I would try, if I would fix it or not. So, you, I like my chaos decor, yeah. <laughs> my downstairs is chaos right now, it's insane. We have, um, it's like E.T. in my house down there. So we've got a gold bangle, gold tone bangle. It, it's got a slight pull to it. I like gold bangles though. I might have to put that in my keeper pile. So, um, most mostly she uses glass, and it, I supply her with lots of it. And then some. Sometimes you guys send glass for her, like glass beads y'all find and save up, and I get little care packages for her. It's so sweet. It brightens her day for sure. Okay, this earring is cool and I'm trying to figure out, is this trapped? This seems like it's trapped on here. Can you guys see my hands okay? Um. So anyway, there, aha. It's still broken though, darn it. Maybe it's supposed to be that way. Maybe we just bend it and we play with it like that. Okay, so we've got this. Interesting earring for sure. I'll have to see if the mate's in there. I don't know. That'll go in this pile for her for right now. And then, okay, that's in a like an enamel. I think it's Mary. Yeah, it looks like Mary in there. It's discolored, so it's probably pretty old. But it looks like it was put on this chain. I don't think it you know originally went with this chain. So that's that's cool. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I got, I got a chance to go get the nails done yesterday, so I was happy with that. So then here's another piece that's, I don't know, from a, a jewelry something. A piece from a jewelry piece, if that makes sense. Ah. Okay. Ah, tangles. It's that fishing wire again. Always with the fishing wire. Oh, goodness gracious. I just want to cut it. All right. Forget it. We'll come back to you later. We've got some clay and yarn. Delightful. Good night. <laughs> yeah, totally. I am very busy. I probably won't fix it. Knowing me... Okay, here we've got a multi-strand necklace. I'm trying to see if I've got it right. Oh, hairs, bonus hairs, gross. Uh, okay, so the clasp is broken on it. Uh, so this will go just straight into the craft lot because I know I won't fix it. I won't. Oh, that's sweet. Again, another thing I I wish it was not broken. So, craft lot. <laughs> Hello, how's it going? Then, more. Oh, I just bonked right into your face probably. Sorry about that. Right into the camera. <laughs> All right, then we've got this bracelet. And there was probably multiples of them for layering, you know what I mean? <laughs> Okay, oh look, there's a cute little gold, I mean a, a little glass fish. I'll put that for my sister. That can go to my sister. And that's a plastic earring right there. Plastics. There's lots of loose stuff down here, so I'm kind of, you know you always find really cool stuff in the, in the bottom. This looks like a coin from the Olympics. Something. Thing. I can't read that. Sarajevo, Los Angeles, 19... I can't... Is that 1984? I'm going to have to look into that. What does that say on the back? Oh, my eyes. I can't see. Hang on. Los Angeles... I think it's 84. Yeah, 1984. I'm going to have to look that up. I don't know if that's collectible or not. Okay, this is sweet. Um, I like the colors and they, the beating what looks like coral look at this hair in there though gross get off yuck um what would you do with that one would you try to sell it maybe 
maybe. Okay, I'm gonna put this on, on my maybe pile. All right, next, what have we got? This, y'all, Tangles. Tangles! I'm gonna unhook this, so maybe it will help me detangle some stuff. There. Uh, I'm seeing some cool stuff I wanna dig into, but I'm trying to get the big stuff out of the way first. Some of the loose stuff in the bottom is drawing my attention. All right, so some nice little, probably like French jet, which is basically just black glass beads. So I don't, I don't think they're really old, but still worth. Um. <laughs> oh gosh, boop boop boop, boop. Not fun. There we go. All right, next up. Oh, we've got a rabies vaccination bright necklace. Sweet. Just in case. This is for homeboy that just got booted. <laughs> this has got a key and a rabies vaccination. Um, I don't know. The key's pretty gross too. And a little bead on it. So fun. There we go. I don't know what to do with that. It's kind of fun, but then it's also kind of like, all right. 1998. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to put it to the side because I just don't know what to do with that. We have a snowman brooch. That's pretty nasty on the back. What do you make that? What do you think? Like they went crazy with the glue and then they didn't wait for the glue to dry and then they put it on their like black sweater. And we're like, oops, that was a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. That goes in the craft lot. Craft lot. And then we've got a broken watch. That'll go into the craft lot, too. Um, these beads looks like some, some dichroic. Uh-oh. Yeah, exactly. There's So this one looks like maybe some dichroic glass in there. Um, these look like just purpley glass beads. So I'm going to put that to the side for my sister. This looks like a watch tool right here. Only it's missing the rest of the tool. Maybe. Do you think it was a watch tool at once upon a time? Yeah. Oops. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then this broken necklace or earring rather. Oh, that's fun. That, um, oh my gosh, what's the word I'm looking for? It is, I see it. You know how that is when you can't think of the right word and it is not iridescent it is it's a word also used on ceramics when they have this finish on it you guys are going to help me no there's another word for it 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 is iridescent but there's another word for it oh my gosh i feel like it says it starts with an l doesn't it come on opalescence it's got another word it really does i'm going to set it here and let it tor torment me until i see it no, that's not it either. It has to do with the glaze. Because I'll see it on, like, um, china plates as well. Oh my gosh, this is going to drive me bananas. Somebody's going to know. I'll leave it there. <laughs> Somebody's going to know. Okay, then there's, like, a little cabochon here that looks like maybe hematite or something. I'm not sure what it is. Lusterware, that's what it is. Lusterware, because you'll see this on like china plates too. Well, they'll have like, or like on a, a vase or something like that. We'll have lusterware. Yes, that's it. Perfect. Thank you. Who who answered that? Who said it? Lusterware, Alice. Thank you. <laughs> I was gonna go crazy. I just can't get all my brains to stay put. That's just, I, I guess there's just more information than my little little head can handle. All right, so this is a, it was a cute bracelet, but it, the, the stretch is totally gone in it. So that's going to go in the craft lot. Then we've got some broken bead bracelet or necklace. Like so, that's going, hmm, does this one, no, they might be too little for my sister. I don't know. we got a rock, just a straight rock. Did I ever tell you guys that I had a dream that The Rock and I were friends? Like, Dwayne Johnson. Like, it wasn't, like, weird, like, boyfriend-girlfriend or, like, I had a crush on him. It was, like, we were just, like, friends. And we are just hanging out. And it was totally normal, right? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> okay, then we've got this little bracelet that the stretch is pulled on as well. I see a Libra sign over here. Yeah, so, you know, it was, it was just so natural. I feel like we should have been friends in real life. Maybe in a past life we were BFFs. I don't know. <laughs> Everyone thinks like that. Everyone wants to be the rock's friend. <laughs> okay, so we've got a nice little Libra necklace. I mean, it's just lightweight, you know. Hang on, get my magnet over here. Definitely, you know, not silver or anything, but cute. Somebody will like that. I'm planning on it, because if I don't, what else am I going to do? I'm going to go through the whole thing, because my house is a mess downstairs. So what else am I going to do? I'm going to hang out and just go through all the stuff. He's like the guy next door, right? Yeah, he's like, just, he seems so down to earth, right? I think. St. Francis. All right, so there's St. Francis. Maybe that went with the dog collar. I haven't seen a St. Francis charm like this, though, so I can't, I think I'm going to look it up. It looks kind of cool. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> you just dream about him. You're not friends, though. <laughs> That would be easy, too. I mean, he's a looker. I'll give him that. He's not my type, but whatever. I guess some people like that type. <laughs> oh, look at the spider. Oh, my gosh. This is really cool. Hang on. Hold the phone. Please don't be broken. Look, it's like a mama spider and, like, all the little baby spiders following behind. Like a little duck trail. Like, quack, 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 quack. Follow the mama. Quack, 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 quack. Um, <laughs> I'm going to, oh, please don't be broken because that's so cool. Oh, mommy spider with the baby spiders. Isn't that fun? If you like spiders. If you don't like spiders, then you're like, what? Okay, it is maybe broken, but looks pretty fixable. Okay, let's take a peek at this. Come here, chain. Let's see what you got. Oh, there's no chain, okay. So, it's just that. The chain, I don't know what happened there. It really made me feel like it was on there. Like it went with it. Somehow. But then it didn't. Okay. Wow. What am I going to do with you? Oh, wait. Look, look. Maybe it did. Or not. I don't know. Shoot. If I hang it this way, we could totally put a loop through this link there. And have it hanging downwards. Like this little baby spider is like saving everybody's life. Like make a chain everybody. Pull her up. Don't let her fall. You know. Yeah maybe we can do that. Maybe I'll see about fixing this little chain up. <laughs> and they can like save the baby. The baby spiders can save the mommy. I think that would sell. I haven't seen one like that before. <laughs> Alright another glass bead for my sister. Um, <laughs> hang on, let me put this stuff on. Yeah. Oh, thank you for that. You're so right. But you know what? We all have to get our kicks somehow. So I like to live dangerously. Um, so we've got a snowman here. That's going in the craft lot. This is kind of fun. It's an earring. It looks like wood. Half of it was regular wood. Uh, the other half <laughs> looks like it's been painted. But I don't think... I see the mate in there, but I'll put it to the side. All right, there's the other Lusterware one. Look at how good I am at remembering words today. Oh, my gosh. Lusterware. Um, thanks, Debbie. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, those I'm going to see about selling. There is a mark on the back. I think it says patent pending. Uh, oh, look, my eyes are working today, too. Um, so, there's that. Yay, we're doing great. We're actually finding some cool stuff. This looks like it might be like a jade or a jadeite bead. Maybe. I don't know. I'm looking down in the hole. It looks white, so maybe not. So that's pretty cool, though. But it's chipped. I'm going to put that over there. Oh, look. we got some amber. So probably, I mean, probably reconstituted amber or copal. I'll set that to the side and see what else we find in that vein. Let me look over here. Hey, everybody. Hey, go over there and hit the thumbs up. Because then YouTube is like, hey, these people like her. Or hit the thumb down. Because then you can tell YouTube you don't like me. They like that either way. Either way, they're happy. Okay, take a look at this. We've got, it's like glass, a glass tube. 
and a spike on it. Maybe it was an earring or part of a necklace. I'm going to give that to my sister too. She can make what she wants of that. Um, hang on. What keywords? Am I doing keywords? You can make an effect. No. Oh, cool. I feel like I'm, I'm missing stuff in the chat by doing it this way. Are you guys cool not seeing me? Because I could do this again and not have to put on makeup. YT, is that a B? YTB certified RTA. I don't even know what that is. So those are going in the craft lot. Um, craft lot. Yep. Look at all the beads and fun we're going to have. Oh my gosh, this looks like it might be something cool. Okay. Look, look, here's a little carved like jade bead. Whether it's jade, we need to talk more about jade and jadeite. I don't see a hole in this. Oh wait, there it is, there it is. All right, I'm gonna set that to the side, probably give it to my sister. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I know some people say they like to see my face because then I make funny faces and expressions and stuff, but I don't know. This was too much like for me to hold up to the camera. If it was just regular jewelry, that would have been okay. But this is too much for one girl to like try to handle. I like this earring though. I like it. I hope the mate's in there. I personally like it. There's a blank so you could make your own. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hair thing. That says Natasha. Uh, it looks pretty gross. So that's going in the lot over there. Lester, we were to say. Oh, those ones, yes. Okay, so then we've got this earring, which is kind of like, meh, it's all right. I'll see if I find the mate. I'll put you over here. Then this is broken. Craft lot. And there is the other one like it. And it's broken too. So this gets to go in the craft lot as well. Hang on. I got to drink some water. My throat's getting dry. <clears throat> All right. We've got another. I'm guessing this is a blank as well. Like, that would be the frame. I mean, you could wear it just like that, I guess. Or you could glue on a cool cabochon. Cabochon. Or a spider. Even though now you can't see it. You know. That's neat. I don't know. I'm going to set that to the side. We have a... Some kind of Asian coin. I don't know if that's Korean or Japanese. I don't know. And then there's a basket. So I'm going to look this one up and find out. I don't know my characters. Maybe you guys can help me. Do you guys know what that what that one might be? Um, this one came for from Savers. I got this at Savers today. Uh, do I hate putting on makeup? No, I, I don't mind it. But there's just some days that I just don't feel like it. Oh, there's another Olympic coin. I'm going to look that up. I've got a few little coins in here to look up. That's fun. That's a little plastic heart. Lustery. <laughs> and another... I think this. there was some jewelry making stuff in here. Because that looks like another blank. That'll go into that bag. This... Uh, yeah, looks like just like a bit of maybe quartz or something polished up in there. Yeah, the ring was gold. I did record some uh, info about it, and I'm going to post it tomorrow. I have to um, edit it because I wanted to videotape me um, testing it. And then I was like, oh, I didn't get to. <laughs> I was like, either this or that. I had to pick. This looks like it's got some of the uh, verdigris. Do you see that green in there? So, yeah, that's going to have to go. Then we've got a purple heart. It matches my nail polish. All right, then let's see. <clears throat> this is cool if I can figure it out. There. I like all of the floating beads on this. I'm trying to find the end of it. I see it, it's really hiding in there. That's one side of it. Where's the other side? And it keeps getting caught on stuff. That's super annoying. Okay, let's just take the magnet to it. Oh, bonus hairs. Gross. Put that over there. 
Where are you, magnets? There you are. Aha, uh -huh, still hanging on to the dog tag. Okay, it is magnetic, but I think it could be really cool once it gets untangled. Because it's got some cool, like, beads and things on it. I'm going to have to dig around with that. Figure that one out a little bit. Hang on. Yeah, we didn't have savers in Houston. That's a nice little button. Um, I think they were Value Village there, but they weren't as nice as what they've got here as far as savers goes. So here's a broken piece of maybe a watch or something. Good golly, I just don't want to let go of that. There we go. That's magnetic to... Ooh, this is cool. Oh, that looks nice. That looks like it's got a nice piece of onyx in there or something. The way it's got that sawtooth edge like a native style, southwest kind of style. Oh, I really hope the mate for this is in here. That's really nice. I like that. Can y'all see? That's a pretty cool one. Okay, I'm going to leave that to the side and cross my fingers that the mate is in here. We've got this earring. That's going to go in the lot. We've got some others that are just kind of uh, like that. Some shells. This is going to go in my craft bag. And this looks like one of these. I think it's like a scarf clip. You know, and there is what looks like a little mark in there. No, maybe not. But yeah, that's like a scarf clip that people would put a scarf through and then clip it. Yeah, there's some <clears throat> some of the stuff is pricey at Sabers. I find good deals though. Um, not so much with the jewelry, but with other stuff. You know, my son bought a. An army jacket today for four fifty, four dollars and fifty cents. So he was pretty excited about that. All right, so scarf clip. Um. Oh no, you didn't hear me. Okay, so next, you think so? I think it's magnetic. Let me look at it again. Oh, well, maybe I'll. I thought it was magnetic. Oh yeah, slightly magnetic. Yep, magnetic. Then, this was like a hairband that got cut. So sweet. That can go in there. Then, this is a watch that looks like the 9 came off. This watch has seen some stuff, y'all. Look. Or maybe it just got thrown in the wash by accident. It's a mess. Somebody wore this. Or maybe they were in, they were like sucked into a black hole. And then like the numbers started coming off. And these started coming off because like they were sucked into a vortex of something horrible. Anyway, that can go into a craft lot. <laughs> Time warp, yes. <laughs> Alright, we've got some bone here. I can see the bone. If I can pull this apart. Hang on. Get off, you. Okay. So, this, you know, just some plastic beads there. I think those are plastic. Hang on. I'm trying to tell if these ones are ceramic or not. I think these ones might be ceramic or glass on here with these. And these are bone. Can y'all see that? I keep feeling like... Yeah, they look like pony beads, like those plastic ones, but they, these are not plastic. These are cer either ceramic or glass. So I don't know if there's a market for that. I'm going to have to look that up because, yeah, these ones are not. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> I need. To, you know what? If y'all can hear that, I don't know if y'all can. Yeah, those are not plastic. So I'm going to set them to the side because I've never seen any that weren't plastic. I don't know. Um, do you guys in your Facebook feed or whatever, do y'all see the, the uh, master class? They're like these master classes taught by real artists, you know, whether... You know, Ken Burns teach documentary making and R.L. Stein teaches. So you can take these classes from real writers or chefs. Gordon Ramsay, I think, has one about cooking. And um, I was thinking about doing it because there's one that Neil Gaiman, I'm not much of a writer. I, I have written stuff, but I'm, I don't, <laughs> I am not under the illusion that I am a good writer. That's for sure. Um, but the one that Neil Gaiman does, and I'm really thinking about doing it just for fun because I want to hear his process. This is actually really cool. I like that. I love the mixed metal. 
if I can make sure that these leather straps will be straight, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah. Um, pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so that's nice. That'll set to the side. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. I was talking to Randy about it. Because, and then I think it's also, one, it's important for the kids to see me still learning. So, I am taking another course right now, and I'm reading, I'm in a book club, I'm reading this book, so. Can I take, yeah, it's really cool, and it's online. Velma is super cool. And so, I'm thinking, because he talks about, in the Neil Gaiman one, I was, I've watched the commercial for it a bazillion times. Okay, maybe like five times. But he goes through his, his process to come up with, like he's, he, and Neil Gaiman writes such imaginative things. Um. And he goes through his process of one of his, his um, how he plots out a, one of his um, comic books and how he works on second drafts and things like that. I don't know. I think it's super cool. I, I might be able to use it as a teaching tool as well. So, Yeah, exactly. And you can just work through them at your own pace, I think. These are cool. They, I think they're little wooden beads. Those are nice. Um... I, the silversmith thing is not gone. I really still want to do that, but I, honest to goodness, don't know when I would have the time. So I'm gonna have to wait. It was like my mom when I was going when I was in school. My mom always talked about quilting, and when I retire, I'm gonna start quilting. And of course, I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Boy, does she ever, you know? She she took to quilting with a vengeance. So yeah, maybe when my kids are a bit older and a bit more um, uh, self-driven that might be something I'm I, I still want to do it because I think it's so cool but whew, I'm trying to get real with myself I can't do everything I want there goes that watch hang on something's hooked on this that doesn't belong this is actually pretty cool I like this it's very small the neck size on it but I like that a lot okay that'll go um, yeah, writing is totally a struggle. And my and my guys are no exception to that because they, you know, both of them are dyslexic. So writing is, and I taught writing, you know, when I taught school, I was like, oh, I can do this. Oh my gosh, no. It's, teaching your own children is so different. <laughs> um, okay, let's see what we have here. This is, this is the Tangle Fun, right? This is where you start finding really cool stuff tangled up because nobody else wants to deal with untangling it and there might be something really good what is that that's cool looking right there okay oh you're oh that's cool yeah I mean I I've written and then I don't know Thelma you're in Houston so there's do you know the imprint series there um I've taken classes through the imprint series and they have a, an educator one where if you're a teacher you get to, to go in and um it's way cheaper because otherwise it's super, super expensive. But I've done, I did a, um, I did two different ones. I did a poetry one um, and then I did a, like a, a memoir style one where you go in and you write, you have writing assignments, you come back, you know, and you've got a whole group of people that like help you and talk to you about your stuff. And um, yeah, it was really cool. It was through imprint, um, and they met, we met like right near where the Manil is in Houston. Sorry, everybody else, I'm talking to. <laughs> but it was really cool. It was a really cool experience. Um, and I got to see how other people are super great writers, and I'm not. <laughs> but it was fun. Uh, so this is really cool necklace. I like the multi strand. I like the, you know, one part's these little stars, and then it's got this spike, and then these little satellite beads. I like that. I mean, I don't think it's gold or anything, but I think it's it's cool. Definitely. Yeah, I, I will, Thelma. I hope they still do it, because I, I did it two summers in a row, and um, it was so worth it. All right, this looks like, oh, I always say it wrong. I always say Uncleite, but I don't think that's how you really say it. Uh, it starts with a U, and it's green and pink, but it's a little scarab. Isn't that sweet? Um... Yeah, they do. I'm trying to think of what else they do. It was it was cool anyway. All right, so there's that. So we're getting down to the nitty gritty in here. I might have to pull the magnet out and. Oh yeah, yeah. So this is. Oh, that's an earring. Hang on. We are really. 
tangled up down here. That's kind of a cool earring though. It needs a little cleanup. So we've got, that bead is nice. This has got, oh, that's American Eagle Outfitters chain. And there's this. Um, <laughs> Catherine, my, as far as cursive goes, my older son does, he is learning cursive. Um, the reason he is learning cursive is because of his dyslexia and it, it's supposed to help um, him with his writing. So far, my younger one, we haven't done much cursive with. I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll see if he, if we get there with him. Probably. At least to learn to read it, you know. Because like you said, somebody writes you a note in cursive and you can't even read it. That's a bit frustrating. Okay, I'm going through trying to grab up things that are magnetic just to throw in the tub or the bag, rather, of... I don't know about this one, though. I want to see that. Okay, so these ones can go into the craft bag. And these as well, I think, unless you're... No, you are definitely stuck on there. All right, you guys go into... <laughs> yeah. Hello, hello. Does Margaret... Yeah, the ones that I'm... Like, the magnet will pull um, things that are... Like more of a base metal that's not silver or gold or whatever. But I want to check in case there's a line. He wrote, there's a series out called American Gods. Um, season 2 is coming out pretty soon of American Gods. It's very interesting. He's so um, inventive, right? I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to think of what else you might have heard of that he wrote. He wrote the Sandman comics. Um, and then there's another series that just is coming out too that is based on his books. I can't think of what it's called right now. What's the matter with me? Can both my boys, um, James can. <laughs> I don't think Michael can, but yeah, I personally print as well. I just, and when I taught, like we, we taught cursive somewhat, but I was, it, I was just like, man, if I can read it, that's what I want. I don't want you to like be stressing out so much over is it cursive. I knew teachers that would make kids rewrite things a bazillion times if it wasn't written just so in cursive. Like, dude, way to make them hate writing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Okay, so another one. Ah, oh, tangles. All right, I'm just going to check all of these real fast. I want to check that gold-colored one because I see some little fancy beads on it. Yeah, that's magnetic, too. Everybody here magnetic? Good. Good, good, good. You get to go in the bag. And this is, what is that? That's kind of fun. Is that a bracelet? That is a bracelet. That's pretty cute. I kind of like it. Um... Yes, I, I'm totally just throwing everything in the bag that I, as much as I like this, I'm just going to throw it in the craft bag, honestly, because I don't think I would sell it by itself. It's cute, though. I like it. I don't know. I like it. What is this? What have we here? Oh, this is cool looking. It looks like a little signet ring, only it's T9C. Can y'all see that? Um... So let's see. This looks like, what do you guys make of that? It's not magnetic. I see an F. I don't know if you can see that in there. It looks like a, like an old ring. Oh, it is. It's all curled up underneath. That doesn't look like gold though, but it's not magnetic. That looks like copper. Hmm. It was all curled up under there into itself. I'm going to look at it though. Hang on, let me get my, my loop to look at it real fast. Still here. 
You always write in cursive. My cursive writing is so bad. It looks like an FS, like very stylized, if y'all can see that. I don't know. You probably, I don't know if you can see it. FS, like kind of curled together. Let me look on the back real quick. Copper would have a green funk. Yeah, that's true. But look how it is right there. I don't know. You're right. But you're right. I am looking. And then when I'm looking where it's broken, it's still like gold right in there where it broke. Hmm. What do you think? Let me see. Must be someone's initials. Yeah. We'll set it to the side. How about that? And we'll test it. It looks old. It's tiny. And then the sides over here kind of remind me of like Art Deco style. If you can see. I feel like my light's too bright. These, the sides over here. Remember that ring I got that was like a 10 karat ring? It was like this, only a little bigger. And it was like blank. So it hadn't been um, carved into yet. We'll test it. How about that? If you stick around to the end, because I don't see any marks on it at all. I'm looking. Yeah, stick around. We'll test that one at the end because I still have all my stuff out. Yeah, like a signet ring. Exactly. Cool. I'm still looking it over to see if there's any. I'm going to look one more time. But yeah, where it's broken, it's still gold in color where it's snapped off right there. Okay, I'm setting that to the side and we'll test it because I still have all my testing stuff handy. Yay! All right, here we go. Um... Signet ring? Are, are you asking like, or are you, are you saying that's what you think it is? Oh, there's a nice little Rivoli tie tack. Yay. I love Rivoli stuff. It's so fun. Come here. Get off of that. You. I will sell this. I will sell this Rivoli. Okay, cool. This is pretty good for a $14 little bag. Not too shabby. <laughs> okay. Let's see who else we can pick up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were asking or... It's like, I think you know what that means. Or if you were saying, I don't know what that is. Okay, shake it off, everybody. What's this? That is magnetic, but I want to look at it anyway. How long have we been at this? Have we been at this forever? But that's okay. Let's see. <laughs> we're, losing, we're losing friends, but that's okay. We're still going. Because honestly, my house is a disaster right now. So, once it gets done, it'll be good, though. Once it is done, it will be good. That's a cool little eyeball. I'm going to put that with my sister stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's really tiny. So, that looks like jasmine. Okay. Do, 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 do. There's a teeny little locket. That's cute. Nobody's home. Oh no, the feed dropped. I'm not sure. I'm going to leave that little locket to the side. I think even though it's just like a cheapy little locket, I think it's still okay. All right, we've got more just random magnetic stuff. I'm looking to see if there's anything I'm like, oh, that's cool. That looks like a watch part right there piece of a watch. Hmm. I'm going to look at the back on this ring, or earring rather. So, because here's why. One, you know how I always say, like, sometimes people snatch the back of an earring off the wrong earring. And then sometimes I'll find gold ones that have these, like, flower shaped on the back. I don't know. It's worth a double look at it anyway. So, let's see. Get off, y'all. See, that one's not magnetic right there. So I'm going to look at this little bit. I see some scratchy marks on there. This is Avon. Avon. But I think Avon made some gold, didn't they? Or did they? Or did they not? <clears throat> what else does it say? I can't read it. N-R... I don't know. Okay, well, yeah. Huh, interesting. Okay. 
so let's see. Got some glass beads here and there. Let me grab up a few of them. Well, I thought I saw more. <laughs> There's a few here and there. Okay, there that glass bead can come over here. That looks like bone, like a bone bead. Um, yeah, definitely. All right, we're getting down to the end. I just want to see real quick if I see anything else that looks. Tell me if you see anything, and I'll deal with the rest later, because I want to test that ring. Let's pull it all together now, and I'll go through the rest of it. That one... Again, I want to look at that back. It's not always something, but, you know, it's worth checking. Again, with the NR. Maybe this person had a... Look at this. That's cool. Okay. Do, do, do. Tell me if you see anything. Here's another one for my sister. Fancy cork. We always like corks. Not really. That's a joke. Um... Hmm, here's a little wishbone. That's cute. Let's look at the little wishbone. Nope, magnetic. Here's another locket. It looks like it's got some some damage to it, but that's okay. Again, nobody's home. Well, let me see if y'all see something I'm missing. Oh, look at that. Part of a spoon. Humburg. Nina Ricci, okay. Nina. <laughs> okay, so there's some cool pieces that I'll probably, I wanna look at this one, hang on. Put to the side for my sister, that looks cool. That one is not magnetic either. It looks like kind of a rose gold. And look at the way it is, like it's very unusual. It hooks around backwards. What do you guys make of that? And then it hooks in like so. Ooh, that's fancy schmancy. I wonder if the mate's in there. And it says, it says something in there underneath. It says fix, hmm, fix. I wonder if it's totally just been bent out of shape or what. All right, I'm going to test that with... Yeah, okay, hang on. Nope, there is another mark there. Oh my gosh, I can't read it. It says A-S... Sorry, I'm trying to read what that says. The cops are coming, man. I have the window open because of the the cool breeze. Sorry, I'm being super quiet. I'm trying to read what that says and I just can't. I'll take a picture of it later and post it, but I'm gonna test this with the other one that I'm gonna test in a second. Let me see if I find the mate or if there's another one. Oh wait, James Avery. Ha ha! Did I spot it or what? Look at. Can y'all see it? Can you see it? There is the little candelabra down there. Mm, hang on. I'm trying to look through my light so I can see to show you. Ha ha! We've got a James Avery. Alright, so that's a little silver James Avery angel. You can't see it with my loopy loo. Yay! Okay, so that's going off to the side too. And now I really want to find the mate. Because <laughs> I don't know if they still sell the little angel anymore. Those grapes are cute though. Now I want to look at the back of everything. Great! Okay, flip, 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 flip. Hi, 80. How are you? What year did you guys graduate high school? Let's talk about that. There's a nice little close in a piece. I'm looking for the mate for the either one of those earrings now because they're both really cool. There's a little silver hoop. That's a little silver hoop. 
Um, or if you didn't graduate, what year were you supposed to graduate? That's cool too. 72, 91, 82, 2001. I was supposed to graduate in 1992. That's a pretty cool piece. Is somebody at the door? Do I have a little child peeking in? I think I do. That's neat. Ah, okay. I don't see the mate for those, which is a bummer, but that's okay. I'm gonna look through another time. When we get done, I'll, I'll double check everything and see if I find the mate. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my testing kit. If you guys want to hang out, we'll test those two gold ones. Look at this big old mamma jamma. Let's look at that. Now get off there, you. That one is not magnetic. Let's see, I don't see any marks on it, though. It's a big one. Hmm. Yeah. Me? Who are you saying lies? Lies. 1992. That was my year. I think my class song was some boys to men song or something. I don't know. What was the class song the year you were graduating for your graduating class? They liked boys to men. I wasn't my jam, but whatever. I like that leaf. Okay, let me scoop some of this stuff up and then I'll get my testing kit over here and we'll test those bits. <laughs> yeah, the 80s. 82. Oh. <laughs> okay, scoot everybody over. We're going to go get the testing kit. Carry on my wayward son. Oh, wow. Can you guys see the, the table? I can't tell if it's one of my kids or the cat. Eye of the Tiger, oh my gosh, Green Day. Time of our lives, oh brother. <laughs> I'm going to get the kit. I'm coming back with the kit. Here I am with the kit. Now, where do I put my gloves? I just had them. Gloves, where did you go? There you are. Okay, gloves. Gotta have gloves, y'all. For protecting your hands from the stiff. Long time ago. Another one bites the dust. Oh my gosh, that's such a good song. I st did you guys see the Bohemian Rhapsody movie? I never did. I haven't seen it yet. I never get away long enough to see anything. There's that. Oh, I'd love to go to the movies. That would be so nice. Okay. So, we're going to test some stuff. Here we go. We've got two things. I'm trying to see if y'all can see what I see on the computer. There. Here. Now. Uh-oh. Crisscross, oh brother. All right, so let's see. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see. Is it showing up for you right? Or is it frozen? Okay. Um, so I'm going to scratch this doodad. As you can see though, when you look at it, look, the, the inside, like where the star is and this part kind of looks like rose gold. And then this outside like part is a different color. So I'm going to scratch both of those because they're two different colors. So yeah, so there's that. Rose gold is a mix, though, so it's, what is it, part gold and part copper or something like that? I did some research lately about it, so I'm going to take that and go like a layout, and then I'm going to get a piece that's, that's going to be hard to do, because the back is, huh, interesting. Yeah, okay, then the next one, my mom really likes rose gold. It's not my fave, but whatever. Whatever. Um, I got my testing kit on Amazon. I think there's a link down below. Are they playing all the... Oh my gosh, are they playing all the Harry Potter movies? 
Oh my gosh. Oh, I would love that. Okay, then there's this one. So I'm, I'm scr or scratching the signet or the main part and then I'm gonna do the band as well. I don't know. Anyway, I can see. I'm gonna have to go back and look at my video about rose gold because this, I mean, just looking at it, it looks like rose gold. Okay, because I can't remember what I, what I taught myself when I was doing the research. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do first, take a drink of water because my throat is super dry. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> so I'm using 10K first. I'll make a line with the 10K. And then if the line disappears, then it is either not gold or less than 10 karat gold. So here we go. One line down. Let's see what we see. I am looking. It kind of smudged it a little bit on the rose gold one. I can't tell on the other one though. Hang on. I need to make a new line because I can't see because the rose gold one is kind of like smearing over there. don't want them to cross contaminate okay so I don't know on this top one because it, it's either coppery or rose gold one or the other that one is kind of disintegrating straight off so what was that is that my watch oh gosh hang on my watch is under this pile of stuff and it's going off there okay um, so I really don't have to test this anymore because it's just gone. The thing is, is that because it's old, I mean, there's a chance it could be nine karat gold or it just could be nothing. Um, but the thing is, if it is, I don't know. I don't have a way to test that. I don't have nine karat gold solution. I'll have to Google that because, um, yeah, all I have is 10 karat. But sometimes vintage gold was nine karat. Let's do the 14K just for funsies. Hang on. Oh, wow. I want to go see them too. So there's the 14K. You can see that, it, boom, it just disappears. Can y'all see that or is, the, is there a glare? Might be a glare for you, I don't know. So this one right here, I don't know. Some of the sparklies are coming off of it. You can see them kind of floating around. So I don't know if that's from the rose gold or the copper or what. But then this one is just totally gone. So I don't know. That's a question mark on that one right there. Um, there. So, yeah. This one, I'm going to have to go back and look at my how I find out about rose gold again. And then this one, if it's gold, it's less than 10 carat which might be because they did do nine carat stuff back in the day back in the day oh yeah i totally want to see that yeah um okay so did you guys want me to test that other ring while i'm sitting here i can if you don't want to wait for the other video since you're here and you hung out till the end <laughs> let me grab it i'll test it for you i'll show you i'll show you i will test it again Hang on, I'm getting my glove back on. Where did it go? Ah! There. Come here, ring. Here. So there's that. Yeah, it was it was 14K. Yeah. So, here we go. So it's got... Is it dark for you guys? Can you see it okay? I can't tell if my my phone is going dark on me. So here's the scratch mark. It doesn't rub off or anything. You can see. I'm trying to see. On my, on my phone, it looks really dark. So let me show y'all. I don't know why it's showing up so dark on my phone. I guess it's fine. Okay, so here it is. Boom. That's the 10K. Can y'all see it all right? I wonder if I can zoom. Can I zoom? Oh, I can. Look how good that is. Can y'all see that? Okay. So there's 10K. Where did my 14K go? And here's my 14K. 
like that. So there's that. I can show you the 18K because then it just goes away. It just dissolves completely. So since you can still see the line underneath, and then here's the 18K, you can see that it just like vanishes completely. I'm trying to see if y'all can see what I see in front of me, like so. Okay, there we go. So yay, that's that. But I have another video where I talk through the ring um, some more there. Okay. And I can, I'll probably put that up tomorrow. Let me flip it around and I'll say bye. Unless you're like, no, we didn't want to see you. Not at all. <laughs> How do I flip this thing around? Um, I don't know. I did it a second ago. There it is. There's the button. Hang on. Can you see me? Hi, I'm going to talk down. I'm talking down to you. I'm looking down. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can turn this. Can I no, I can't turn it. Darn it. Oh, well. Okay. Thanks for coming to hang out, everybody. I'm like looking down into my phone. Um, but yeah, have a great evening, great rest of your weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. <laughs>